Well, it's been quite an exciting day today. Uh, I've had the one fish, which is the only fish which has been out yet since we've been down, at £40.04. So, uh, over the moon with that one. It uh, started off this morning. Uh, nothing could happen during the night like I'd expected it to, in all fairness. But this morning, I heard a, a fish bash out in the bay down to my left. Quite a shallow bay. I had been told that they don't get down there too often. But the water level's about a foot up on normal, I'm told. So uh, I think that's one of the reasons a few fish have drifted down there. But I heard the one this morning, ch checked it out, uh, waited a few hours, and uh, seen a few rings coming out from the rhododendron bush on the far bank, but right down in the bay. And uh, I thought to myself, well, it's, it's gotta be worth putting the bait down there for a few hours. So I've waded a rod down there, just flicked it over onto the rhododendron bush, 20 baits round it. Literally an hour later, it's rattled off. Absolutely fantastic scrap of the fish as well, like really beat me up. But uh, yeah, yeah, really, really pleased. Let's hope the rest of the week carries on in this form and I'll be happy. <laughs> the one thing I wanted to do was not fill it in with bait. I thought, uh, we don't know how much has gone in last week with the previous group which was on here, so I thought, right, I'm j just going to fish for a bite at a time. 20, 30 baits round each rod. I'm using three ounce leads, it's not digging in too much. I've had a bit of a lead around. I did find a, a pretty clear gravelly strip about 30 yards out in front of me yesterday, which I've got one of my rods on. The other two rods I put tight to the far, far margins against the snag trees, which I do know from people on here that the fish do like to get underneath them trees, especially when it's warm. So I thought, right, two rods on the on the trees, one on the, the gravelly strip, and uh, hope for the best. Rig-wise, I'm using nothing fancy at all. Uh, standard D-rig, which is what I tend to use 90% of my time. After I'd seen this fish show yesterday, um, it was about 40 yards out, um, I knew that one of the lads phoned me that said that Martin had got a, was into a fish down the bottom. So um, I thought, I was winding in anyway because I was going to go and have a walk round and um, just see if I fancied another swim or if I'd seen any fish or anything like that. So um, I was just about to wind my rods in and uh, fish popped its head out about 40 yards out, like dead in front, and like I hadn't got a bait anywhere near there. Uh, I was fishing actually further out. So um, anyway, I wound the rod, Sid, went down to see Martin, uh, congratulate him on his on his uh, 40 that he'd had out, and uh, did some photos for him. And then uh, I went on for a walkabout, went walk around the lake, 
I'd have looked around to see if there's any, like I say, if there's any swims that you know, I fancy jumping into or anything like that. And to be fair, I didn't really, I didn't really come across anything that I really fancied. So um, I came back in here, um, still umming and ahhing a little bit, and you know, because I've already put bait out and I put more out than what. I felt that I put more out than I wanted to, so, uh, but anyway, I uh, chucked out about 40 yards, put um, 20, 30 baits around it, that's all. Um, did all three rods, got there with them all out, and so I think I'm feeling a little bit more confident, and uh, I've been keeping my eye, I've kept my eye on another swim. I just put a little bit of bait in um, last night, and a little bit this morning. I made myself a coffee, I stood by the side of my rods just looking out for fish. Had uh, one bleep on my rod and the bobbin and boof, so I just looked down at it. Thought it was probably one of the rod, there could have been quite a few rod swimming through and banging into the lines, and then next minute it just tightened up. I seen the line lifting in the water, so I didn't give it a chance really. I just, just picked the rod up and, uh, and got the fish on, and never even gave it a chance to come out the clip. So, uh, but yeah. It was a good result, so I'm pleased that I made that choice. spod rod, mark float spod rod, but I refrain from that, basically trying to find some spots, some smooth spots in the silt, put a few baits around them and uh, put a rig on it and see what happened. Uh, rigs will pop up, short inch stiff rigs with a small, you know, with a 14mm pop up on, um, not sitting too high, probably about an inch off the deck. You know, they could be like bearing in the silt, so I, I changed the, um, the boom material to a uh, coated braid, soft coated braid and tried that, but uh, that, that didn't seem to make any difference. I've tried bottom baits, blood uh, whittling them down, so I've gone back onto uh, stifflings. I came out last in the draw, and we was well spread around the lake, so I decided to move in first bait. Uh, I'd heard fish crashing to the right, but I couldn't see them. Everyone else could see them on the opposite side of the lake, but I couldn't see them. So I moved one swim down to the right, uh, which opened up the bait to the left to me here, and I'd also got control of the middle of the lake half nine, ten o'clock, uh, had a bit of a pull up and at first I thought it was a bird um, because it just dropped back straight down into the same place it was originally arrested and then all of a sudden it just ripped off. It was a fantastic fight, yeah I knew it was a lump as soon as I hooked into it. But it was chesties on, get into the water and uh, do battle. I saw the fish roll in front of me and I thought, oh Christ, that's a PB common. So I asked me, uh, my stepson to get in the lake, which he did, bless him, in his shorts, and he, uh, he netted it for me. 41 common. I think we'll be back, yeah, definitely. Nice. 
Well, yesterday morning, I um, got up at 10 to 5, um, seen a few fish moving here and there, and then um, I was watching them moving on the opposite side of me, and uh, lo and behold, middle rod rattles off at a 42.9. Uh, so I was really pleased with that. I spoken to Alex yesterday as well from uh, RH Fisheries, the fishery manager there, and uh, we was having a discussion about a fish that uh, both him and Rob had shown me a picture of last week and if I'd seen this fish or anything and I haven't I hadn't seen it before and we was having this discussion about it and this that and the other Alex asked me he said you know if I can try and find out if anybody's caught it or, or anything like that because it, it was quite a while since it's been caught uh, so anyway I've been putting a bit of baiting into the African swim uh, just about 20, 30 baits in the morning, a few in the evening, stuff like that. And uh, yesterday afternoon, I decided to just go and just do the afternoon and the evening uh, in there and just have a go where I've been seeing these fish moving. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I'd have my rods out for about 20 minutes, and I believe that it's the fish that we were discussing yesterday morning. Um, I think it had been out around 42 mark before and uh, I had it at 44.8, so absolutely over the moon with that, really chuffed, a brace of 40s in the day, you know, might never happen again, you know, you know, in my fishing career or whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, it was really good result, I'm really, really pleased, really happy with it. So, uh, you know, who wouldn't be? Right. Hey. Yes. Look at the fish that does. One happy customer. Yeah. Well chuffed, absolutely buzzing. So pleased with that fish. Oh, darn, please, man. Bait had only been out 20 minutes, just cast down to the shallows. Been putting a bit of bait in for the last 24 hours, about 20 baits at a time. Quite early on in the session, got here and had a bit of a look about, find a few fish, seen some decent fish um, in a group in the shallows. The first original I caught was 31.15, a uh, fish I've caught before, um, but pleased to see it on the bank again. Then that afternoon, um, I caught my first 40 from the bottom lake here, 40 pounds, six ounces, again an original. Um, since then, I've been uh, catching a few stockies each day, um, had seven fish so far in total and then last night at midnight I was uh, woken by a screamer 
um, which turned out to be the 46 that we got on film. Um, while I was playing it, um, the other rod ripped off, so I had to phone Steve in a bit of a panic to fetch me a net as I only had one with me. Um, and I braced that with a, a 20 pound stocky. Um, so yeah, an amazing session really. Well, I started off out in the uh, in the Conquer, and I was, had a pretty good gut feeling about that. And uh, I've started going with my gut feeling more than what with me had really just recently. And I was unsure whether I was in the right place or not. I seen a few fish uh, on the opposite side towards steps, and I kept seeing them boshing out and boshing out, and I'm thinking I've got to move Monday afternoon just to see how it would go. And that's when I had the uh, the 44.8 sat in there. I sat in there till about nine o'clock at night, and then I thought, you know. I'll go and we got failing and I'll go and drop in, drop in there the following morning. So Tuesday morning, I wrapped up at half past five, went in there, put a bit of bait in, just steadily got my rods out and then had a, the 27-8 a fully scaled. And to be honest with you, I was, over, I was thinking that like, you know, with having one that early in the day, that uh, we'll pick another one up later on that evening. But got up yesterday morning and I was down in the African, not seen any fish for a couple of days, not heard anything. and. Been mooching around the lake and that, like having a look, see where I can slip in. And then obviously Thursday morning, I was out and I'd, I'd already put a little bit of baiting on the on the sandy point. So I just like made the decision up sticks. I'd already had, and I'd got nothing to lose. I'd already had a 20, a brace of 40s. You know, I just think, you know, that's that's my week done anyway. Wednesday morning, just a couple of handfuls down here uh, on sandy point. Still thinking that like it was things are going to start moving up in the African again. Uh, I put a bit of baiting up there, just didn't see anything. So first thing Thursday morning, I just knew straight away I've got to move. So I um, had a slow pack up, moved down into here. And uh, one of the other guys was fishing in here early on in the week with no joy or anything, so he moved out. So he's had a couple of, couple of good days of rest and uh, dropped in yesterday, got my baits out in the late afternoon. Not on, completely out of the blue. Last night, another uh, my right hand rod screamed off that was uh, baited up onto the dam wall there, and uh, I had one of the known fish called Creases at 44.8. So uh, I ended up that's three swims and three different 40s as well, and uh, it screamed off again the same rod, and that ended up with a 24.12 um, fully scaled and really pretty fish. In fact, it's probably one of the prettiest fish that are in here really. So I was uh, really pleased with that as well. So. It's Friday night now, <clears throat> it's around tea time. We've got till about half nine, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. You know, we should get uh, a couple more fish just to end round the trip off with a bit of luck. Four and a half spot on. Same yeah. as the other one. Yeah. Blood off you! It's creases, is it? Yeah. Ready? Oh, your dorsals will get, get it now, well, it says. Our dorsals will go on. Not sure which one it is, but it's a clunker and I know that. You know, 244 and a half. There you go, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
Martin.